gonna go ahead and order, open up the Hadley Conservation Commission meeting. For Tuesday, October 11th. First on the agenda is the notice consent. Howard Johnson's GEP file number 170-287 continued. Proposed demolition of the Howard Johnson's building at 401 Russell Street and the building of a new structure in the same general area. Proposed site improvements include sidewalks, drainage, and landscaping. Activities are proposed in and limited to the buffer zone only. Site visit conducted, the site visit conducted on June 8th by Shallow Davis and Heather Minot. Peer review comments to be addressed this evening. So who would like to start with this? Hi. Um, so yeah, my name is Heather Minot. I'm with SLR. Oh, we, we were- can't hear you. Um, okay. You'll have to hold up. We we don't hear you at all. So something where did he go? Uh, technical. <laughs> we can't He's hear Alex. the applicant. <clears throat> Actually, this is Mike Gagnon. Can you hear me? Oh, Mike, I think there's a, a audio might be on our end. Just one second. Yeah, because I could hear Mike. <laughs> you know what? It could be the hold on. Is this stupid. I could hear it faintly. Right now. Go ahead, try speaking. Hi, can you hear me? Nothing. No, we still don't have you yet. Right now. Okay, try speaking. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Thanks for your patience. Yep, no problem. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Heather Minot. I'm with Hello. SLR. Um, can you hear me fine? Hang on, we're just going to turn the volume a smidge. Got that? All right, how about now? It's better. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, yes, I'm Heather Minot with SLR. Also here from SLR is Mike Gagnon. Um, we're the site civil design, um, and we also did wetlands permitting on behalf of Development Associates for the 401 Russell Street project. Um, in terms of what's happened since the last meeting on August 22nd, um, we did get planning board approval last Tuesday, so that would have been the 4th, um, and we have finished addressing the peer review comments, and they are satisfied with um, the comments that are with our answers to that. Um, so the um, two major points that were addressed in that were we updated the stormwater analysis points um, so they're in the same spot for existing and proposed for comparison and we revised the grading a little bit at the entrance drive to Russell Street so that we don't have any increase to uh, Russell Street under proposed conditions. It's either meeting um, existing conditions or a little bit of a reduction. Um, in addition to that, um, per planning board request, we updated the planning schedule with smaller caliper tree plantings and added a site light fixture detail to the um, revised drawings. Um, so I don't know if there's any questions, if you want um, want to show any of those changes or... So what, did anything impact <laughs> the Conservation Commission as far as those changes? Because we were pretty well set back in August. Yeah, no, all of the changes were right by Russell Street. Not, not, nothing to do with the conservation commission. Yeah. Thank you. 
What, what were the order of conditions? Does any of the board members have any further questions? What were the order of conditions? Just out of curiosity. We, we haven't closed the hearing yet. We have to close the hearing before we discuss the order of okay. conditions. You have any further questions, anybody in the board? No. No. So I'll entertain a motion to close the hearing. I'll make it. Motion made by Gordon. I'll second. Second by Edwin. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous vote from the board. No one opposed, so we have five members that agree. So we're going to entertain discussion on the order of conditions. Uh, Shyla has already drafted some order of conditions somewhat. Most of it has our standard boilerplate okay. order of conditions, but there are some special conditions that we're going to also add. Project description, this order of conditions, special conditions is relevant to the proposed demolition of the existing Howard Johnson's Hotel building at 401 Russell Street in Hadley, and the building of a new structure on the lot. Several site improvements have been proposed, including sidewalk, drainage, and landscaping, as well as a reduction of impervious surface and improvement. There is a BVW, Border Convention Fade and Wetland, on the approximately 5.54 acre site, and the only wetland and resource area proposed to be impacted is a buffer zone affiliated with the BVW. <clears throat> Approximately 57,565 square feet of buffer zone is proposed to be impacted by demolition and rebuilding activities. The Town of Hadley Wetlands Bylaw requires 35 feet from wetlands may not be disturbed. Work proposed in this area includes site grading, water quality based installation, and a portion of the parking area. There is existing impervious surface within the 35 foot buffer zone that is proposed to be removed and will be viewed as a site improvement. <clears throat> The applicant and all of the parties subject to this order conditions shall comply with the approved plan, order conditions, and the following <coughs> special conditions. <coughs> Want me to read all these? Um, is this okay, all point so point? This is, These are things that we've used in previous um, orders of conditions that are a little bit more general um, to kind of summarize some of them, like, you know, no storage of equipment in the wetland. Um, <coughs> That this order shall be applied. It shall apply to the existing property owner and all of the property owners after that um, during the time that it's active. Uh, it, I don't know if any of this would be considered to be redundant based on the well, key it, keys, spoiler plates that come with the actual. Form. You want me to read the whole thing? No. I can read it if you prefer. <laughs> I'll let you read it because it's about ten okay. pages. Yes. I can I can summarize each each one. Okay, that would be easier. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, first one: no equipment or construction materials uh, stored, stockpiled, uh, parked in buffer zone and resource areas, and no maintenance of those equipment like fueling and washing inside of the resource area or buffer zone. Uh, th this document shall be included um, in contracts and plans dealing with the activity. Uh, term applicant shall refer to the owner, any successor in interest or successor in control of the property. Uh, this, we shall be notified uh, of a transfer of title uh, while this order is uh, active, also until certificate of compliance. Um, that the copy of this order should be on site for reference for all relevant parties. Uh, prior to construction, uh, it would be helpful to have someone designated uh, to monitor the compliance with the order of conditions and just to have that person be identified to the commission um, in case that there's any questions. Um, that erosion control shall be erected as uh, in the plans, delineation. I didn't know if the board would want the wetlands to be marked with like a flag or some kind of stake with the line, the boundary. It should be, that way they can observe the 35 foot okay. uh, so line. That was one <coughs> um, suggestion. Uh, a pre-construction meeting um, on site. We've already had that effectively to the existing con conditions. Uh, we would want 24 hours notice of the start of construction. Um, sometimes we do, like we did on the North Street project, a, a compliance monitor. So an inspection of inversion controls, and especially if we have a large storm, to go out there to make sure that everything's still in good order. Mm -hmm. nope. um, but if there's any, well, uh, this one I don't think is actually relevant. The watering is not going to be <laughs> necessary on this site. Um, having a stockpile of erosion control materials on site in case things do come down and need to be repaired. Um, and then after construction, that upon completion, that you'll 
filing a request for certificate of compliance, breaking down what needs to be included in that request. Um, and then things that will continue on is no mowing um, within the 35 foot no disturb zone and no storage of snow within the resource area or buffer zone. And uh, snow must be trucked off site and we need to know who's doing the snow. So I, I don't know if the board wants to add anything to that or modify or if the applicant has any questions or concerns. Is there any other board members who would like to add anything? Nope. No. No. Do we have a motion to accept the board of conditions and special conditions as proposed? So mm -hmm. yeah, second. Or is second? Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous five board members approved. No one is staying as rejected. So you're all set. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll get this to you probably tomorrow. All right, thanks. All right, have a good night. You too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you need your agenda. <laughs> Next on is the notice from Senate 13 Russell Street redevelopment, file number 170 288. This is also a continuated hearing. Berkshire Design Group on behalf of Triangle Properties, LLC, is proposing to redevelop the currently vacant lot at 13 Russell Street, formerly a gas station, into a coffee shop. The lot is 12,197 square feet, and the resources areas present on the site are restricted to AE flood zone, 100 year flood, site visit conducted by Shava Davis and Doug Sorrell in 727. And we have represented tonight. Uh, Doug Sorrell. And you have a request tonight? Uh, uh, yeah, I request uh, to continue this hearing until we have further uh, responsible plan. Okay. Do you have a, do you want to continue the next month's meeting? meeting or do you want, you think there are only two, two months? Uh, let's go one month. Okay. okay, so. I would like to point out beforehand that typically we meet on the second Tuesday, but that second Tuesday in November is election okay. Tuesday. So where are we going to meet then? Tuesday? Either the first or the third Tuesday. Well, the first is coming. Yeah. yeah. So we we'll meet on the third Tuesday. Is he, I don't think, what, what's the next planning board meeting? I saw the paper that we're still discussing it. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I think we should be done. Sure. Next planning board, I put my right down there. Is it a week next week? Do they show an agenda? Look at my calendar. I don't feel like that yet. So you don't, you haven't heard when you're going back to the planning board, Chuck? Um, I'm not sure if my colleague Jeff has or not, so I don't know. So that would be with uh, November 20th, 13th, is it? That would be for all things. <laughs> It'd be the 15th. Would be the third Tuesday. The fifteenth. Okay. What's the first Tuesday? The first. Oh, the first. The first of the month is on the first Tuesday. Yep. So that would have been the eighth. Okay, that was the fifteenth. Yep, the fifteenth is the third okay. Tuesday. Okay. Um, it's five Tuesdays. There's also a time for me in that day too. Oh, is there? Okay. Yeah, they made the third and third Tuesday. Oh, okay. So the first would be too early. Yeah. The yeah. third would coincide with a meeting that potentially will discuss this topic. <coughs> and we can't be in two places at once. Do we have anything else in the uh, pipeline coming up for hearings? Um, not until December. Well, we'll December back in December. We have oh, all the, um, well, the campers coming back in December. So we have a problem. We have to move to a different date. No, no I am not going to be around. Uh, Okay. okay, uh, the 22nd. I'll be back to the 22nd. But the fourth Tuesday of November. Good for me. Yeah, I yeah. Think, yeah, I think we'll do that. We're going to uh, look for a motion to continue this hearing to the fourth Tuesday in November, which is November 22nd at 6 30. So, so move. Yep. Okay, Gordon, that one. One, two. Yeah. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. So you continue to the November 22nd. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank right. you. Thank you for coming down, Doug. Sure.
So that's going to be our regular meeting in November. Yeah, so anything else that comes up will be we'll on the 22nd. For the 22nd. Yep. Next up is a request for determination of applicability. 117 South Maple Street, Paula Sawtell. Sawtell? <laughs> and Leo Fugler. Fugler? Fugler? Thank you. Proposed to install a 500 gallon propane tank next to the garage. The hole has already been dug. Erosion control silt fence was installed along the bottom of the hill near to the stream on the property. Upon discovery of the existing work, the property owners were asked to stop until issuance of a permit. Including the application request for included in the application is a request to replace the existing septic system and the only affiliated work that has been so far is a perk test. Site visit conducted 927 by Shadow Davis, Paula, and Leo. So we'd like to come forward and get paperwork, plans. Do you have a septic system design already? Yes. So what we're looking for is a plan showing us the location of the new septic system yes. and the propane tank relative to the stream. Well, yeah, I can, I can show you on the computer. Mm -hmm. yeah, come on up come whenever on. you're ready. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the garage is here, so this is where the tank is going to be going in the wetland. It runs right down through here. The whole length of the property is about 200, 200 feet. feet. Yeah, it's, it's 125 by 200. So the, the uh, hole, so they, there's already been a hole dug, it's about here, right mm -hmm. abutting there. Um, I don't know the exact distance from the stream, and I wasn't able to measure it when I was out there. So we're going to need some. It's about 100 feet. But there's silt. We put a silt. There, yeah, there is silt fencing down along the bottom okay. edge of the So I don't think we probably have a problem with cloaking things right now, yeah. right? Yeah. We're more than 35 feet. It does have a 30 foot. That's for sure. I don't but we don't know where the septic system is going. Yeah, that's going to be around. We have plans for that? I mean, you have I have. Do we have plans for that? They've been approved by the Board of Health. So you do have the plans, you just don't have them with you tonight. Is right, that correct? Right, yeah. Okay. We, okay. But you, it's, it's approved for the Board of Health, but not mm -hmm. for the Conservation right, Commission. Right. So we have to see the proximity of the septic system in Leachfield I did, I did to, to the wetlands. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be outside the 35 foot buffer zone? Oh, yes. I would think so. I, I didn't measure anything Is it exactly. 50 feet, 100 feet? I would say probably 50. Well, Is the septic they're, gonna, they're replacing an existing septic system, yeah, so, so you can't put it in the same spot. Uh, I so, don't know exactly where the old system is. Uh, now I've done so many feet as far from the stream as it could possibly be. Okay. So, yeah, okay, I think I know where this place is. High water table. It's not, not a common for the number of systems in the field out there. Yeah, there, there's there's quite a that drop off to where the stream is. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask the board what they want to do. We don't have any very detailed plans. We're just going upon what Charlotte visited when she went out to the site. Yeah. No, no disrespect intended, but we don't know. We know where we know the approximate distance of the propane tank. Which is not a problem because that's a contained system. Mm -hmm. uh, we do not know where the septic system is going to go. I, I can show you out here where it goes. I don't have the plans with me. That's, that's, you, that's what we need. That's what we kind of need. I kind of need this. Yeah. 
That's what we kind of need. Is the septic system in failure you now? Yes. Mm -hmm. it, it, they did a Title Five on it, so then now it came in and perked this. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah. Hmm. In the perk. Yeah, yeah I, I saw where they well. did the perk thing. Okay. Uh. No, they're working. So I'm looking for some input from the rest of the board members how you want to handle this. Can you be present at our the fourth Tuesday in November to show us the plans for the septic system, or you'd rather not? We, well, I can. I was hoping we get it in before that. And yeah. It's getting late in the year, you know. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, a, new, a new house. So the propane tank is currently not installed. So do you have any source of heating? Currently, okay. Okay, well, we don't have a problem with the propane tank. No disrespect intended. The problem that we have and is okay, with what, the what, septic system. What's the string right now? The string is, is really yeah, yeah. far back. I don't know if that line is showing it. It's, it's in this back corner, along the back edge of the It goes property. back further on so, that side. And the septic system is going all the way up to this upper corner? Is, is the septic system further away than the, the propane tank? Yeah, propane tank is going right there. Yeah, propane yeah. tank is here. The, I think that the perf test was done, like, um, it's up a slope it's here. Disturbed. Yes, I could see yeah. where the perf test was done. It was probably, you know, about here because there was some distance between. Basically, it's, as, far as, as far away as, far away as, away as, as, away as, you, as you could get. Yes. And if it's going to be a contained system, there is silt fencing already up to help with the mm -hmm. So there's really control. no other place to put it. <clears throat> Other than there, yeah. it's, it's the and that's a necessity so based upon those facts, and it's a replacement system. Yeah. We just they were, they were gonna have a hardship, I think. In this case. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh. Right there. When you're doing the septic system, is the access going to be on the other side of the building? It's going to come around from the garage side. The, on, on this the, is the garage on, side. On the north side. On the north side of the building. Come on, why don't you come around behind you? <laughs> come on behind us and reach over our shoulder. <laughs> I don't know why we have such so many tables. <laughs> this was no, just I, like this already. No, it's one of the tables. <laughs> so, one over here. Leo. So, this is the garage right here? Uh, yeah. Okay, you're going to so put the septic system Right, here. right. And you're going to come around this side? No, we're going to be coming around this side. Like, this is the garage, is it not? Yes. This is the garage. So, we'll be coming around, around this side and working over here. We might, we could probably go through there. But, uh, you can drive down. Very easily. So, the, where's the propane tank? I thought you said the propane tank was right there. there. Uh, is that the garage? Yes, yes. With the garage doors? Yeah. Which way did the garage the doors The garage doors over here. Okay, the face, okay so, yeah, right. so have, the road is up here. And then we'd be coming down this way. And all the work would be these 35 feet from yeah. the Yes. That, that would be easy. The, the stream, it goes kind of like. I think off the property at yeah. one point, and that size, yeah, it goes, you know, continues off to somebody else's property. I'm willing to get further away over here. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's it's just they have a very small lot, so technically everything is within the the buffer zone because it's such a small sure. lot, mm -hmm. um, and that's why I have them file, um, even though it's outside of the file. Up, if you have an emergency different. situation, a hardship case, exactly. yeah. and yep. it's not getting any warmer. So. Nope. No, okay. I have to get it in before winter. <laughs> no, yes, we want that for you too. But we're gonna need the plans for our file. I think we should let them. Yeah, we should have something more definitive in the file. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. I don't want to hold up this report. Right. Right. So that's something I can request to have them send me a copy. Yeah. Yeah. Get a copy yeah. for our record. Get, get a copy, copy for our record. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so right now we have in the request of determination this is a token date, but nothing about the septic system. Okay. That's just that's what we're describing. Okay. So that's what, yeah, we were we were talking about the septic system, but it's been after. Can sure. we have him install the septic system, but then we vote on that one at our next meeting? He wants to get going. I know that. Septic system. He's going to get it there. Yeah. There's still fence up now? Yep, there is still fence up. And they'll be able to access to all their work within the existing still fence? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I believe that you even had a there's, I think you're there's okay. a little yeah, stone wall. Yeah, I think you're okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so, yeah. so, so uh, there, yeah, there's that little stone wall. Yeah. It, it is like yeah. a hill. Yeah, we we we, no. can, we, can we need ver we need verification. We got to protect our little bushes. And so, if we don't have a plan on file, we don't. So that's we don't something have we were discussing the possibility yeah. of having them send me a copy of right. those plans after this meeting tonight, so that we have it on record. Bring it over at some point as soon as you can. Right. Can we orders? issue a determination I'll, I'll of the? Wait, we're be here tonight. Uh, <laughs> I could run back and get the plan. We're not going to be here late. You're the last person no. on the we're agenda. We're the last one. <laughs> Congratulations. The person after you didn't show yeah, up. So. Bring it tomorrow. Bring it. Can you drop it off somewhere tomorrow? Like we'll tomorrow? Um, I'll be in the office at Town Hall tomorrow. If, you, if you'd like to come by tomorrow. Um, can, can I leave it at the uh, at the uh, building inspector's office? Earlier, because you we don't get there to wet. I usually get there about eight fifteen, eight thirty. Okay, okay, that would be good. Yeah. yeah and be um, good. if not, I mean, you would be welcome to do that, but I should be in. The yeah, if you're, if you're there, that's fine. Yeah. I should be there. Oh, yes, Paul. Uh, um, we need to do more. We kind of felt that everything was done with the with the septic at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, we made the plan to get it put in. Um, as well, as well the, your, your septic system plan should show the house, should show the property. Line. Yes, it does. Yeah. So, we, we just yeah. want a copy of those plans for our records so we know. Yes. Yes. Yeah, there's, but that's that's what we're doing right now. That, yeah, that's that's what's happening here is the board is deliberating whether they yeah. can issue the permit. No, of course, I understand. It, it does get confusing going around the. Municipal merry-go-round. <laughs> so, it's just about whether um, the board is comfortable issuing the permit before having that visual or not. Yeah. So. We're basically asking for the plans for our file. We've got a basic description of where it's going to be going. Mm -hmm. We don't have an exact plan, but we know the general location. Right. Should we and just write a contingency? If everybody always thinks it's close enough to getting the plan, yeah, or yeah, well, we just get a contingency if we write something up. We'll do that. Is this going to get the plans? plans. You're going to get the plans tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So I write it up that way. Yeah, so let's do it, just do it that way and we'll get, get them going. I'm yeah. going to look for a motion to close the hearing. And I'll make it. I made a motion. Second by. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. Uh, what I can read here, it's going to be a negative number three determination. The work described in the request is within the buffer zone as defined in regulations, but will not alter an area subject to the of the act. Therefore, said work does not require the following of notice of intent subject to the following conditions. And basically, we got a town bylaw that no work within the 35 foot buffer zone. Right. You're going to you're going to have a local local guy do the work, correct? We don't care who does it. We're going to do it to plan it. Right. Yeah. But the they, but they kind of know what they're supposed to do. Okay. That, that, do I have that. a motion to accept that? I'll make it. Board makes motion. Second. Second and final. Steve. Any further discussion? Any further conditions? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. All five board members approved. <laughs> We'll get this out to you quickly. So what that means is that you're approved for this, uh, the propane and for the septic, and we just need a copy of those plans. And we yeah. said you can bring those tomorrow, and uh, I'll be in the I'll, office. I'll have them there early. Okay. okay. Wonderful. All right. Thank, Thank you. you folks so much. I really as appreciate it. As long as everything it. matches, as you said, we'll go with it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I, you've seen what the first has to yeah, I remember okay. seeing. I know that it's definitely outside this the 35 one, uh, mile. He, he, so. he pulled his. Okay. Yeah. So, thank you. All right. Thank you. Next up on the agenda is request of determination of applicability, 87 Rocky Hill Road. Jason Galvin seeks to establish a half acre chicken and asparagus farm on his property at 87 Rocky Hill Road. And is Jason present? For the Zoom? This is everyone in the Zoom that we would see, right? So, no one's here for that item? No. So do we just continue so also? Yep. yep. Look for a motion to continue this one to November 22nd at 6.30. Please. I'm so moved. It would make the motion. Go ahead and second it. No further discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.
Next up know. is other business. Um, oh, I have a question come in. So um, on South Maple Street, where Ideal Movers is putting up that storage unit, um, they were asking whether they can brush hog the wetlands two to three times a year no. for aesthetic purposes. And I figured that was a no. No. But I told them I would ask. We already told them. The other okay. thing would be one mowing a year, but they've already asked to get in there. If, if, okay. If so I will make sure that I communicate that flat no, not happening. I believe it would have been in the order of conditions, too. Yeah, we have something in there about that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Um, are there any bills? Bills? No. Updates? Um, I think beyond what I. Nothing. If, if not, we'll, we'll go on to uh, look for a motion to accept the September 13th meeting minutes. We'll move. Second. Like that. Mm -hmm. Edwin Gordon. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 All five, yes. Yep. Yep. Make a motion to uh, look for a motion to accept the September 27th meeting minutes. So move. Edwin. Second. Gordon. Go for the discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Five. Upcoming learning opportunities. I've been too busy to speak out classes, but I learn every day. <laughs> you're doing a great job. You Thanks. are doing a wonderful job. If you guys job. can see the office right now, it's like I've never. I got new filing cabinets. <laughs> very, very well organized. Good. I know that uh, the previous uh, staff person was trying to get it organized. There's a, lot in there. There's a lot in that tiny office. I had to take everything out and put it in the hallway. And, oh yep. <laughs> well, but she I was know. able to get some new cabinets, some new hardware to hold it in a more Good. organized fashion. Thing. Good. Well, other than that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. I move we adjourn. I would move for a second. Open the discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay.